Now I would like to show you how easy it is to create an effect, for example with a sinus curve over a color channel. In order to do so, just choose your fixtures from the fixture window by left clicking on them, or do a right click and use all, or use a range of them. Then, just right click onto a channel and click onto FX Create. Alternatively, you can also click onto the chili in the bottom toolbar. The FX Create dialog will pop up, and now you can choose which channel you would like to equip with an effect. To the right, you can set a touch position, which is the start position of an effect. You can choose the effect you would like to use inside of the function drop down. Let's use a sinus function here. On the left of the FX Create dialog, you can see a little visualization of the expected effect. Clicking onto the Mode button on the right gives you an alternative view onto the sinus function. As you can see, it's just going from 0 to 50. Changing the touch position to 50 will make the sinus curve behave like a real sinus curve, from 0 to 100. Let's have a look. As you can see, the function is now going from 0 to 100% with a starting point of 50%. Going back to the FX Create dialog, we can have a look at the different available functions like sinus, cosinus, ramp, rectangle, triangle, peak up, peak down, ping pong, Halloween, and many more. You can also set equalizer bands out of the audio DSP to work as an effect, as well as volume slow, volume fast, the beat async and beat sync functions. You can also let the channels be working like a kind of ambilight effect by using the video channels or screen capture channels. Let's go back to the sinus curve function. Inside of the FX create you can also set the size of the function as well as the speed and also the phase shift, which is the position of the function on the x-axis. You can also change the ratio, which is the ratio between the upper and the lower amplitude. A great thing about the FX create dialog is that you cannot only set one value per function, but instead two. So doing a speed spread means that you're actually putting two functions onto one channel, as we can see in the preview on the left. You can also do spreads for all other kind of function properties, like on the phase shift. In this case, we are using these two functions with two speeds, on a phase from 0 to 100 on the x-axis. As we can see, we now have two small functions over these four fixtures. In order to record an effect, simply open up a cue list and record it as a cue. 